Welcome back to Talking Through Your Kick. Uh, before we get into a quick review of the Cup and the Oaks, because we need to do that, uh, my post-mortem for the week, I hear along the grapevine, you've had to go to the doctor. You feeling that, Cook? You've had to go to the doctor this morning? Oh, no, just a few uh, organ problems inside. <laughs> and he's Not, put... I don't, I don't think they're life-threatening. They, but... the, they pulled the cape around the outside and... Yeah, we're getting, we're getting the screen <laughs> put the out. screen out. <laughs> screen what, what's the doctor saying? The she, liver? Liver's... Oh, the liver's not functioning great. Uh, <laughs> cholesterol's he... had, a, had a bit of a Melbourne Cup kick up. Blood pressure's okay. Um, a few See, other this things. Is, this is on the show last week when we did that. You know, you've got to prepare yourself for oh, the yeah, Cup week. Yeah, exactly. You've got to be in good yep, shape. Exactly. You've got to be in very good shape. Yes. Walked in and said the liver will be in a jar within a week. <laughs> well, it was a big uh, you know, Derby Cup down there. We did work so hard down there, Very Russell. tough, I can guarantee you that. Melbourne Cup Day, uh, after a big Monday night, which is a schoolboy era that I'll never do again uh, in my life. Melbourne Cup Day. Uh, boys, we're going to show you the finish. Uh, it was a yep. lovely ride. We've all seen it a million times before. A few hard luck stories. You can see out wide there, Mount Athos got Polax by Rala Ichi. Um, you were on Americane. Yep. You were on Mount Athos. Yeah, but I took trifectas. I took eight horses to win. I got Green Moon, but I didn't have Fiorante or Jackalbury in my trifecta, so they got. What did you viable. finish up doing? Uh, I did something very similar to those two. Took the trifecta, which uh, Green Moon was in, and that was about it. Yeah. And I had something also on Americane and Mount Athos, who was it? Obviously an eye-catching win, but from a punting perspective on the day, no good. Uh, you were on Americane. Americane was a big. I did have something Red Cadeau as well, which was a, I thought a great run. I was never in the race really, but. Uh, uh, Mount Athos was a massive run. I uh, did, I narrowed it down to seven and just blonked up the field field. So I got a little something of the trifecta, but it, I thought the ride of that particular race was boss on Kalini. You know, just oh, it was good. It was good I, think, I, I think the winners the winners was fantastic. Yeah. He got it into the gun spot. Was there any the slaughters that you saw that you you got to give a whack to? <coughs> oh, no, not, not, for, the, not circumstances were against a few. Yeah. Ethiopia completely so, changed the complexion of that race because when, when he started coming back. He dropped out like he'd been shot at about the 800. It mm. caused all the interference. That's mm. why there was a lot of traffic problems. Ethiopia was the problem. In that Were country. you happy to see an Aussie win? Even yes, that? yes, I was. I mean, parochially, were we happy to see it come? It doesn't really bother me if an international or an Australian yeah. trained horse wins. Like, it's just a good race. I'm happy to see the best horse win. Yeah, yeah OK, let's have a look at this email me. from Gus. I don't think I've ever seen a Melbourne Cup where they've walked the entire race. Almost farcical. <laughs> no, I disagree. I just don't get how some of the jocks further back didn't realise this, and God knows what Ryan yeah. Moore was doing out on Matt Athos. Why didn't Luca have an Aussie jock on? The problem is, though, if one of those jockeys mm. did say, right, I'm going, and make their run at the 800 and then die at the 200, everyone would be screaming, what was he but, thinking? But the French trainer, you bumped yeah, into him in the I wee did. small hours, look, and he wasn't happy. No, he wasn't, um, for Dunedin. Yeah. Uh, he told me, he said, look, the instructions of Craig Williams were... Try not to be in the second half of the field. I know that's going to be hard jumping wide because uh, they, they were really concerned the way the track was playing for those in the second half. As it turned out, they, the, the trainer was pretty fired up about... It wasn't as farcically run as 09, but it was pretty ordinarily run. But uh, he said, well... He was pretty steamed up, but he said, we'll just have to go via Hong Kong and pick up a million on the way home. Well, you yeah, know how a couple of uh, shows ago we said how the French horses haven't lost a race they've been in in Australia. Mm. We've, We've managed to stop the entire country we'll do of that. France. We'll do that. Geelong Cup. But it doesn't... You know, now it, this, and uh, also... Shawali got beat there the Shawali other day. Yeah. got beat the other day. It's, you know, Dunedin was beaten, what, a dozen lengths? Yeah, he, he know, copped it. Dunedin was a bit early. unlucky. He the, copped it, a big check the, early. The nearly weight come down was and never... Go, he was yeah. too I know, but he still never had a chance. Wasn't the weight. Oh, 59 wasn't kilos the weight. on a hard track was always going to be the lay of the day. Oh. And in hindsight, we were talking about hindsight, you could have taken the could well, have bet against the top four picks at $8 and you're laying them a 7 to 4. Yeah, yeah but hang on yeah, a sec. Yeah, Dude, yeah. I didn't know, but you look how brilliantly you won that Caulfield Cup. Yeah. You could have easily come out and done it again and we all sit here going, how do we, yeah. not, how do we not back him? Like when Mackay Big Diva won her third Melbourne Cup, how many experts said, no, she's got too much weight, she's yeah. got too much weight, weight stops train, and she bolts in at five But that five still bucks. wasn't a weight-carrying record. It was for a mare. Yeah, but look at the way that yeah. Red Cadeau and those horses hit the line last 300. So you, you can't be bagging Dunedin. That I'm bagging. You couldn't win. Couldn't he win. Couldn't. Wasn't oh, in my top I wasn't seven. a fan. I, did, I, didn't, I left him out. Circumstances transpired against him in America. Yeah, the sunshine. Well, that well, was I, I was... Quite excited at the 700 metre mark because he's two pairs back from the winner, Americane, tracking up nice, popped off the fence and then got that that buffeting from Valoichi. He mm. pushed down that cannon into Mount Athos and that was about the end of the penny section. But, you know, 
Anyway. Okay, Lux Bets, uh, Smarty of the Week. Uh, this dude, oh, 500 in the 97,000. Smarty of the Smarty of the Year. He got the $15 fat hour, which makes up for... Uh, the unders he's taking Green <laughs> he's Moon. He's taking for... I wouldn't Tip care. Tippity's not worried. No. Nah. Well, effectively, he's got G's Green he's Moon won. at 200 to 1. 100 mm. Gs. So he's not got unders. Outstanding. On Cup Day, he's got it going at 200 to 1, hasn't he? Not bad. I wouldn't it. mind having a piece of that. Oh. He wins. I'll let you take over the next one. He was declaring it in <laughs> the this? guineas. Declaring it oh, in the wakeful. Yes, 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 yes. And didn't didn't <clears throat> get off. Well, the good part, of course, Russ, Jimmy, uh, and I did spot Jimmy uh, late on Wednesday Jimmy. one night as well. Wednesday night? <laughs> oh, no, no, I don't know what night it was. It was wakeful, I said they night. By the way, one on the course, inside, better the spring. Yeah, yeah there's uh, Zydeco in the uh, Maroon inside. And here trouble, comes yeah. dear Demi. So Jimmy then sets one off the fence well back in the field and just kept coming and Zydeco pushed out in front of it. Uh, but uh, that's probably where you want to be and uh, it was a great result for those who stuck with Dear Demi but I'm just thinking it could have been anything, Russ. Could have been the Thousand Guineas, Wakeful, Oaks, Treble. And to me it just shows that there was probably not a lot between these fillies. No. Um, you go back to the Wakeful and she had no luck. Zydeco had the great run. Do you reverse it today out there in the Oaks? Zydeco got an OK run. She Come out yep. a little bit slow early. Did Demi set last, come around him and won? Better than the Colts? Hard to sort of say. I, oh, right, I, I love, I love oh, the line from the singer. So. That oh, is, oh, no, Jimmy was so. sacked on Saturday afternoon. Nash gets suspended. He's back on and yeah. everyone's a winner. But he did have another slap at Gay that uh, he's <laughs> been with Clary for 20 years and had not one bad word in that entire yeah. 20 years. Uh, Quinny, just quickly, uh, Jimmy gave the bird to her. Turned around, gave a little finger salute to someone over the fence there. Yeah, any, yeah. any any mail there? No, I'm not sure. What he was, was copping a bit of banter on the oh. way out to the barriers, and I reckon he gave a bit back after yeah. he won the race. He so, loves it. He loves it. The, the thing is, though, look how horrendous the uh, Oaks winners have been when they've returned as their four-year-old mares. Mm. Will this batch be any different? Do you think these these two, especially the, that ran the Quinella, can come back as four-year-olds and actually do Not something? Three-year-olds. Still so a long way machine to go. Yeah. came back okay. Yeah, no, I'm machine. talking when they come back as four-year-olds. Four-year-old mares. Yeah, uh, on percentages. I think they both can. We're still got another nine horses. months to worry about that. Mm. Well, I, yeah. I think the curse is half of them break down. It's only just turned three. And machine yeah. and all of them just seem to go but miss. There's been a, some See absolute the superstars goes. that have just, just gone amiss. OK, uh, plenty to come on the show. We're going to give our Carnival MVPs very shortly and find the best and worst runs at the Carnival, the best jockey, the best trainer. Your thoughts are welcome as well. Just go to our social media page, which is uh, on the Twitter, uh, T. V N T T Y K at T T Y K at TVN.com. You're better off just putting those graphics up, not saying they anything, just let people late. read them. And then punters.paradise.com.au is a website. Take a break here on Talking Through Your Kick.